guys, so I'm starting to prep for Thanksgiving dinner and this year I'm gonna do some of it tonight and a turkey and everything tomorrow. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down. Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets. So I'm starting with some sweet potatoes in the oven and this year I found this at Trader Joe's. They're already cut, cubed and everything which is perfect. Makes my life so much easier. So all you have to do is just open it up and put it in a Pyrex or something that you can put in the oven. Use olive oil, salt, and some garlic. Cover it up and put it in the oven. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I have. We're just gonna cover it up with some foil. Let me be All right, you guys, so now the yams are in the oven, um, cooking at 430 for probably like an hour and a half or maybe two hours. Gabe is making faces right there, that's why I am laughing. <laughs> um, and now we're gonna deal with the turkey. So we got a, I think it's like a 15 pound turkey. I'm going to open it up, wash it. All right, you guys, so we have the turkey. It's just chilling here. And for the recipe, all you need is three sticks of butter, um, garlic, lemon, some um, garlic cloves. You can use fresh, I'm just using what I have at home. And cilantro, because I don't have parsley, and honestly, it's good with both. So, you do you. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing. All right, so we have the butter, and it's soft as you can see we're gonna add the parsley or the cilantro whatever you guys chopped up or both into it we're going to take a few garlic cloves and we're gonna add them in there as well and you can use as many as you want it's totally up to you some people like more garlic some people like less really good with a lot of garlic I will tell you this we're gonna mix it and we are going to use the juice of two lemons and then we're gonna also use some lemon zest going to add salt and pepper the smell is amazing you guys it smells so good go grab some pepper at this point I usually taste it just to make sure the flavor is there. I know it's kind of gross because it is like butter, but you don't have to take like a big chunk, just a little bit to see if the flavor is there because this is the key for the good turkey and you want to make sure that the flavor is good. If you need more salt, pepper, more garlic, anything at all, you can add at this point. After that, it will be kind of tricky. So, just take a little bit. Perfect. At this point, it is perfect, and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so one more thing about the butter. Before we start, we're gonna add some olive oil to it, and this will prevent it from burning. So we're adding some olive oil, we're gonna mix. And now we are ready for the turkey. I'm gonna put this on the side for a sec. And what we're gonna do right now is cut two onions and 
you can leave the skin. You don't have to feel it. A lemon, full lemon, six bay leaves, garlic, which we're gonna cut in half. salt and pepper. So, we're gonna take our turkey, pat it dry and make sure it is completely dry on the inside as well. And we're gonna basically stuff the inside of the turkey with, you so guys can see better. So, I'm gonna put the onion inside. Put the garlic. bay leaves. So cut the lemon, forgot to mention that. Put it in there. And I don't know if all of it will fit inside, but we're gonna try to fit whatever we can. So this is the tricky part with the turkey. You wanna make sure you separate the skin from the breast but you wanna make sure that you're not making any holes in the skin. Also, we're gonna add salt and pepper on the outside. So my trick to get this done, you basically grab a spatula and you're gonna separate it very gently. And you're going to use um, the butter as well. So you're gonna basically stuff the breast with the butter that we just made, the mixture of the butter. Be, please be generous, because this is literally what's going to make the turkey breast super, super soft and yummy and delicious. So we're just gonna make pockets in here. I'm gonna use the knife just to separate it very gently because you don't want to cut through the skin. And then we're just gonna stuff the turkey with as much butter as we can. And trust me, you want to use the whole thing. Again, like I said, this is what's gonna make it taste so good. Also going to put some of the butter on the top. Everywhere. Alright, so because I'm making this the night before, I'm going to cover it with tin foil and put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow morning I'm gonna take it out of the fridge and um, I'm going to put it in the oven. Before I put it in the oven tomorrow morning, I am going to drizzle more olive oil on the top. This will prevent um, the butter from burning and it will make it really crispy and delicious. This is pretty much it when it comes to turkey. Um, it's pretty simple, honestly, and the taste is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, the original recipe is by Gordon Ramsay. I can leave a link for it if you guys are interested to see the actual original recipe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'll show you the rest of what I'm making tomorrow morning. So I'm ready to put this in the oven. I will just drizzle some olive oil on it. And make sure that the butter doesn't burn. And put it in the oven. Um, we're gonna put it in for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes on 430, just to crisp up the top. And then we're going to lower the heat to 350 and just cook the rest of it. So every 30 minutes or so, you're going to place the turkey. All over the turkey. And now you'll do that probably every, I do 30, every 30, 40 minutes. So that's what you want to do, 30, 40 minutes. 
30 minutes. Make sure the turkey is nice and juicy and delicious. All right, so I'm checking on the turkey again. All right, you guys, I think the turkey is done. It has been in there for about three and a half hours. Let me just do this really quickly one more time, and then I'm gonna check with the thermometer just to make sure everything's cooked. With the turkey, it's re it's a very lean bird, so it always you always have the risk of it being very dry. So when we put the butter and everything on there, it really helps it out, um, but sometimes it still gets a little bit dry. So you don't wanna overcook it. So once it reaches the temperature, that's where you want to stop cooking it and just let it rest for a few hours before you start eating. All right, you guys, so the turkey is pretty much done. Um, I took it out of the oven because I don't want to overcook it. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness, and it smells so delicious. It was in there for probably about three, three and a half hours, um, and I just checked with a the thermometer. Um, I bought this a while ago. Um, just that it reaches the, um, it says poultry 165 degrees um, and make sure it reaches it. I poke it around different places um, just to make sure. Some places are a little bit hot, um, like 170, 180, some are like 160, but overall it's pretty cooked and I don't want to leave it in uh, the oven for longer because I really don't want it to dry up. So that's about it. Um, now the secret with the turkey is now once it is cooked and ready. I'm going to cover it up with some tin foil and then I'm going to let it rest for a few hours. So all right you guys so now we're gonna start by peeling our potatoes so we can make the mashed potatoes. Um, yams are done. Gabe is making a delicious celery root salad right now. I'm making the mashed potatoes and then we have a few little things to do but overall everything's pretty much done. and think why spend too much time just getting ready let me be honest i don't know a single thing that i haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting no my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love, oh Na, 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 na Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love, oh Oh, na, na, na. I don't know Convince you to hang around When you don't have to There's so much that I'm still keeping to myself Cause you don't listen, babe But still you got me missing you When I see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time 